Good job, Carrie. All right, well, if it is Tuesday, then that means it is time to take a little road trip, something that we like to call Wreck on the Road. That's right, Arion. Today we talk a little baseball, real baseball, of course, the fantasy kind. Let me introduce you to the commissioner of the oldest continuous fantasy baseball league in the world. We are just days away from the official start of the Major League Baseball season, and that means fantasy baseball players around the world are gearing up for another long season ahead. I can't wait to get up and read the newspaper, read the box scores, you know, see how my guys did. Hampton resident Jim Walker is one such fantasy owner. Like all fantasy owners, baseball consumes their life. It makes my day, either a good day or a bad day. If all my guys do terrible, you know, I'm moping around and all like that, but if it's a good day, you know, I'm walking my toes and all. It's, it's amazing. But Walker is a little different than your average fantasy player. You see, Walker and friends first formed their league back in 1979, long before fantasy sports was part of the sports culture. Started in 1979. Uh, just uh, a bunch of us got together. We had been like... Uh, somebody's favorite player and I said well I'll take my favorite player against your favorite player and it might be a shortstop against the catcher or something like that and I said no I'm not, I'm not gonna put a shortstop up against the catcher you have to take the catcher and take the shortstop and, all like that. and it just evolved and then uh, we got a, a bunch of us got around and started talking say you know we ought to make a leg out of this and so we got together on one Saturday and uh, had a draft it was a little bit different than it is now but you know it's evolved Walker's League, the original classic fantasy baseball league, has one very distinctive honor. Oldest continuous fantasy baseball league in the world. Until I'm pro proven otherwise. You know, I really believe that. It may be difficult for Walker's League to get the recognition it deserves, but as far as his personal understanding of the game, let's just say he's learned a great deal in the last 33 years. I'm much more appreciative of the game and, and the players, I follow the players, uh, you know, even when the season starts, I uh, look at players maybe that somebody doesn't have to see how they're doing, so when the uh, supplemental draft comes up, I can uh, put them in there and all like that, so, you know, I, I follow them all the time, I get on uh, MLB.com and, you know, they have, you can go back and look at the history of all the players and they have an injury list and, you know, all kinds of things, which I've been working on because our draft's coming up, I've been working on it for uh, several weeks, every day, a couple hours. Yes, fantasy baseball has evolved, but Jim's love of the game and his fantasy team has stayed constant. I had just as much uh, fun in 1979 as I do now. The name of Jim's team is Field of Dreams. Jim's dream for his league is to one day be included into the Hall of Fame, whether baseball or Ripley's. He just wants some type of recognition. It's fantastic. 33 cool. nice. years he's been the commissioner of that league. Wow. And, uh, his, you know, you ask him who his favorite players are, and they're, they're the old timers, you know. So he's really sure. been doing it a long time. So, uh, of course, fantasy baseball is kicking in because the season's going to start on Thursday and tomorrow. Tides and Orioles. Yeah. I saw Jacoby Ellisbury on his list. Yep. I saw an Upton There's on a, his list. Well, you know, he thinks all the local guys are big-time fantasy contributors. And, and, yes, of course, he likes, he's a Yankee fan. I saw mm, his hat, but, but I also saw Jacoby Ellsbury yes, on his list. Gonzalez. <laughs> there's, there's a couple of pretty decent Red Sox fan mm. uh, players out there. It's going to be a fun season for you and I, isn't it, Chris? Yes, it is. And guess who's throwing out the first pitch at tomorrow's exhibition game? Who's that? Our face of Fox, Tracy. Hey, hey, hey. No, Tracy. Get that arm ready. <laughs> let me guess. Strike, strike her a ball. Strike her a ball. Ball. Yeah, oh. not even <laughs> <laughs> Dirt ball. Dirt. I hope he makes it to the plate. Yeah, really. <laughs> so